Hello everyone. So today in another list video looking at five um, stuff. Um, today we're going to be looking at the top five Crash Bandicoot fan games. Now, if you must be wondering, oh hey, why am I talking about this on here? Well, to be honest, I'm allowed to do whatever I want. And the creators of these fan games don't expect me to like, I don't know, automatically post this video to add these games, because to be honest, that takes longer, that does. So if you can, please watch this here, or I'll just go ahead and link you to this video. Anyway, so, now, today we're going to be looking at the top 5 Crash Bandicoot games, but not in the way that you think we're going to do it. We're also going to look at what it relates to in the actual Crash Bandicoot series. There's actually some fan games that don't relate to anything, there's some fan games that do relate to stuff. But remember, well, there's one more. The, the game actually has to work. I have to actually play it and play a bit of a walkthrough. If it's just, I'm not counting one level stuff, and I'm not counting stuff where you just go into a level and you die automatically. Those games suck, they do. But these are the ones that I quite like and these developers have actually, or these fans, have actually taken the time to actually make these better. Now there's probably one on here that I wouldn't really consider and I've already given it about at least a 3 out of 5 on game joints. Anyway, here's the intro. Number 5, Crash Bandicoot Underwater. Now, Addy A has made about 3 Crash Bandicoot fan games which are all freaking awesome they are. And I love them all uh, very much. The controls are a bit stiff on Crash Bandicoot Underwater 1 and 2, but he has taken the liberty in this game that most of the stuff really looks like, and the model of Crash looks like the stuff from Crash Transality, which we all love. Now, this model, everything about it is great. The music is great, the sonic references are great, and also how he remade some of the boss battles from Tiny Tiger, Energy, and Dr. Cortex. And you know that little like, life bar? Yeah, and then you hit the box and then one goes off. That's what I love to, to death. Now, this game I would say is kind of like Crash Twin Sanity meets Crash 2 because here we've got Tiny Tiger and um, oh, we have also got some dark levels which was most present in Crash 2. Um, And we also had some chase levels with water and also going outside, which also reminds me of Crash 2 a little bit. Now I could be wrong and say that this is a bit like Crash 3, but who goes? Who cares? At the A, I really do hope you make another Crash fan who fan game. It will be sincere and I would love it. And I know how it would take a lot up of people's time. Be it again when you get incredible reviews like these and when you get people loving your games and playing with them I feel like that should make a developer who doesn't want to stop like I understand taking a break but please make like a Flash Bandicoot on the water free or Flash Bandicoot the Facial 2 but, but not using the same design that you, as you did in Adventure and maybe adding another Sonic world who knows Number four, Crash Bandicoot Adventure. Now, um, this is one of my uh, another popular gameplay on my Addis games, which I decided to thank you so much. I never wish that. I I don't know what happened. So this game is kind of like um, Crash One, Two, and Three, as of those are the levels in this game. Meets. Uh, the WAF Cortex and Sonic. Now, why did I say the WAF of Cortex? Well, when you go into the portal worlds, and as you get to the levels, they kind of simulate something that WAF did. And also, Sonic is in there, which I have to, to say. Now, I've only played a demo version of the Sonic game, and I've 
and I also do have plans to get Sonic on Lego Dimensions, which is something to say. And also the design of Crash is also from Wap Cortex, which is the most popular one, and I guess one of the easiest one. Number three, Crash Bandicoot in Wet World. Now, uh, I'm just going to call him, I'm just going to name him by his initials, uh, K. G. Um, now this developer has made a couple of Crash games, some that are good and some that are not good. But out of the ones that I've actually, uh, sorry, um, out of the ones I've actually played um, from this developer, I would say this is probably the number one. Now this is actually a full game. Now I will say that other stuff that he's made is good and some stuff that is not good. Um, and I've also played a different version of your secret place that I have. Um, I don't know what that's about anyway. Um, so in this, I would actually really do say that this is, yet yeah, again, this is WAF meets um, some of the games on Sonic, Mario and Pac-Man. Um, it doesn't really remind me of anything else. Now, this probably would change if I actually got to the boss battles, but because your Pac-Man level is so goddamn long, and I've gotten the crystal, I know where the exit is. <laughs> and I'm thinking of trying to put it in actual unity and cheating. Um, I have not completed your games. That's one of the thoughts I have, but... Yeah, again, Crash in Virtual World is very good. Now, there's, like the other games, um, there's not really much of a storyline in Underwater and also Adventure. In those games, you're just getting stuff, but in this one actually has a storyline. Right, so, you, uh, Crash, and Aku Aku, which said in the title, has been transported to this warp room. And you have to go into different worlds in the I'm gonna say them the different universes because they're different to crash they are. You have to get crystals and we saw the timeline you do. Um, and then you also get to have two bosses, you either go to Neo Cortex or go to the secret boss, which is Aku Aku. Now um, I'm assuming that Dr. Cortex is better because Aku Aku seem better basically, but um, the game is still good. I'd like to LEA once again, Crash Bandicoot Underwater 2. Now I'm definitely going to say this, this is basically just Crash Band, this is basically Crash Transanity meets nothing. Because there's more levels, there's more free roaming, there's another chase sequence, and there's about at least two bosses which are actually the same thing which is Dr. Neo Cortex. Um, and there's not really any references to Sonic at all in this one, in fact, more references to Spongebob Squarepants. Now, I'm not too sure about the Ace of Fan, I don't know if it's, I don't even know his age, but I'm guessing to make an underwater um, bash game where you're not actually having vehicles, I guess this would be one of the easiest options to actually do as sort of making like a SpongeBob SquarePants one. Now don't worry there is still some crash acts there. still some crash insanity stuff in here. There's crash boxes, apples, lives, enemies. Well, there's only one type of enemy which goes like this. Um, the boxes to create are similar to crush to insanity um, and the Dr. Neo Cortex is the same design from the uh, underwater and also yeah just underwater actually um, which is from WAF once again so I'm guessing WAF designs are easier <laughs> but yeah again this one's this one is fun and I like it where there's a bit of a space sequence and one of the tunes that you uh, hear are fast up there so basically somehow he or where he got from the track is actually sped up and then there's a football scene and then well, in the last couple of scenes basically you get teased to death you do <laughs> but yeah very good idea I'm very impressed with your games
Now, no honourable mentions because, well, to be honest, I don't do them anymore. But as of number one, Crash Time with that. Now, this is an ultimate clone of Crash 3. Now, I've only said Crash Field number four. Now, unfortunately, this game is not in progress anymore, which we can say, rest in peace. Because this game, I we've seen a lot. Here's a YouTube channel, somehow it's blown up, it has. Not that many subs, but the views have gone up. And the levels are amazing. Now, we see that the design and some of the boxes are a bit from Crash 3 to Wrath. To twin sanity, um, those are like the, the signs. Now, you are able to play at least one tech demo of the game. Now, unfortunately, I have no idea how you're able to download it, but if I can and I will, I will try and find a download link for all of the games I just said and I will put them down in the description. Now, this um, game used to have its own website, which unfortunately is not, it's not there anymore. Um, they also do have social media and their YouTube channel is still up to date and, and it's just sad it is basically because we have seen quite a lot of progress gone on with this game as of we have, the, he teased some of Teeny Tiger he did, which was just amazing, and some of the other levels, and a Coco level, and it's just, it's just sad, it is, because when you actually get to play the tech demo, you're going to think differently, because it really does feel like a HD remastered, it does. Crash has all the same moves that you have in Crash 3 with some glitches. Now, when you go on to the bonus um, lift where it takes you to the bonus one and you're able to get more crates, if you're not careful, you can walk off there and kill yourself. And in fact, if you're not still careful on the bonus platform, you can also still kill yourself there. Now, I'm not, I am not too sure why, but this game, this tech demo, is really really hard and it's very hard to actually complete it. I have never completed it and you should know that. And I'm hoping to give it another try once again. So yeah. I actually thought I had walked Island on here. Well, I guess I was wrong. So all of the games I just said are really good. They are. Um, but it's just sad for number one to actually not be in the filament anymore. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this top list video. Please let me know what else you want me to count down in the in the next couple of days. Expect list videos once again every single day. I want to do something with Spyro um, again as a list video. Now, if you're getting bored of these list videos coming out, um, expect expect a vlog um, every other day. Um, frogs are not coming out every day but they're going to be coming out every other day and if I'm on holiday and if the internet's when I'm on holiday and if the internet's good hopefully you'll get frogs every day like what I did with buttons which was really good I've got to say um, but um, we'll see we'll see I'm a bit scared actually um, so yeah um, but if you are getting bored of these once again, you can go ahead and check out one of the short films that I've posted on here, which is something like stuff. Um, you can also go to Addy's Games when I'm actually posting more stuff on there from Crash Bandicoot related videos and also the evolution of Crash Bandicoot characters. At the moment, I'm focusing on Crash Bandicoot characters, and next, I'm going to try and release Nina Cortex's battles because there are some battles. There are. Um, I'm thinking of doing other stuff that um, the Professor Bethesda Gaming channel has not done yet. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you go and check out the stuff on here. Uh, Crash Bandicoot stuff here. And no, actually, Crash Bandicoot fan, one of the fan games things will be here. And one of my videos and subscribe here. Please go and check out uh, my stuff. Please go and check out links and stuff in the description. I'm Adam and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Whoosh.